This video will show you how to create a Project G Assist plugin using NVIDIA's Plugin Builder. The Plugin Builder is built on OpenAI's GPT and is fine-tuned on G Assist plugin templates. It helps you understand what is possible, refine your plugin ideas, and build the code. In this example, we're asking the Plugin Builder to create a Twitch plugin that checks if a user is live. The Builder gives an overview of what's required. In this case, setting up a Twitch application to get a client ID and token, and outlines the files it will generate. It will point at key questions to solve in the design, like where to read credentials. It may even suggest ways to expand or improve the plugin. In this example, the plugin builder is pointing out an issue with Twitch tokens. Since tokens can expire, we want the plugin to handle the authentication flow. The builder suggests using environment variables, but we can indicate that we prefer a config file in the same directory, so it's easy to quickly modify and keep track of plugin-specific values. The builder then updates the code accordingly. Once everything looks good, we ask it to generate the plugin files. It knows what's needed. The Python script, manifest file, requirements file, and the config file. The builder outputs code snippets for each file. You can copy and paste these into the plugin template available on GitHub. On the left, we have the plugin builder. On the right, the GitHub template. We'll paste in plugin, manifest, and requirements files. Here we can see that a config file wasn't generated automatically. No problem. The G-Assist plugin builder is experimental. We can just ask for it, and the builder provides a version with placeholder values. At this point, we have all the files we need for the plugin. It's a good idea to review the code for bugs or make any improvements we want. For example, we'll rename the log file, and in the manifest, we'll change the generic plugin name to G-Assist plugin Twitch. This needs to match the name of the executable we'll build, so we also update the batch script and rename the output folder from plugin to Twitch. Now we're ready to generate the final plugin files. First, run the setup batch file to install dependencies. Then run the build batch file. This creates the executable and copies over the manifest and config files into the dist slash Twitch folder. Finally, copy the Twitch folder into the gassist plugins directory. The folder name is what you'll say when calling the plugin, so keep it short and recognizable for voice input. Let's test it in gassist. You can say, Hey Twitch, is Marvel Rivals live right now? And the plugin responds. You can now use the plugin, share it with others on NVIDIA's developer Discord server, and keep improving it.